Today we at Phone Arena are taking a look at the new LG Ally VS740 smartphone available through Verizon Wireless. The Ally now makes the fifth Android device for the carrier, but is also the third to have a sliding QWERTY keyboard after the Motorola Droid and Devour. There isn't anything too inspiring about the phone's overall design, as it looks like just another messaging phone with its all-black plastic construction. But we do like the soft touch coating on the back and the rounded corners, which makes it comfortable to hold. The 3.1 inch WVGA display on the front has a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels, which is more than what's on the HTC Droid Aeris and Motorola Devour. Because of its higher resolution, images are clearer and text is sharper, but under direct sunlight it can still be difficult to see. At the bottom are touch sensitive buttons for going back, launching the search, and physical buttons for send, home, menu, and end, which also acts as the power and lock key. Along the sides are the volume rocker, micro USB port, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, camera key, and micro SD HC memory card slot that comes with the four gigabyte card pre-installed. The 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera is on the back and produces better looking images than what we saw with the Motorola Devour, though colors have a tendency to be warmer than we'd like. One of the best features of the Ally is the QWERTY keyboard as it's the nicest we've seen on an Android smartphone for Verizon to date. Each key is separate from one another with plenty of space between them and is raised from the surrounding plastic. There's also enough room for people with large hands so your thumbs don't feel cramped while typing. The keys provide a nice click when pressed and have more feedback than the keyboards on the Motorola Droid and Devour, but we do wish that the space key at the bottom were a bit larger. We also like the more traditional square shape of the navigational D-pad on the Ally opposed to the rectangular D-pad on the Motorola Droid and the optical pad that's on the Devour. The Ally runs on the Android 2.1 operating system and is almost identical to the version that we saw on the Google Nexus One, except for a few extras that LG includes. You have your five home screens that you can scroll between, but we did notice a little bit of a delay as they move slightly behind our finger. There's also a selection of live wallpapers that you can choose from to animate the desktop. The 3D app menu is also present and is part of the Android home theme. But when you change to the LG home theme, it is replaced by a standard white app menu. You also get a quick launch bar added to the bottom of the screen for accessing the phone, contacts, messaging, and web browser. This is nice to have as it stays on all five of the home screens. LG phones are usually known for their good call quality and the Ally doesn't disappoint. Voices on both ends sound clear and natural, lacking any background noise or distortion which we consider a step up from the HTC Droid Aeris, which had a constant hiss sound in the RP speaker. However, the signal reception on the Ally was a bit below the Motorola Droid and HTC Droid Incredible, though we didn't drop any calls. The battery life was pretty good, as we got about seven hours of talk time on a full charge, or about 28 hours of mixed usage. Overall, the LG Ally is an easy to use, low priced Android smartphone and is best suited for people who just want a basic device without a lot of extra bells and whistles such as Moto Blur and Sense UI. The QWERTY keyboard really stands out from the competition, so if you didn't care for the one on the Motorola Droid or the Devour, you should check this one out. Be sure to visit phonearena.com for our full in-depth review of the LG Ally, including pictures and 360-degree rotational views.